Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you guys the difference between the class Jupyter Notebook and Jupyter Lab. So first of all, I will walk you guys through on how to install the Jupyter Lab. If you don't know how to install Jupyter Notebook, you should watch my introductory video to Jupyter Notebook. So let's head to our Jupyter website. Jupyter website. And let's open it. And here go click on this install and scroll down here to Jupyter Lab. So all you need to do is you install this command line here on your window commands prompt. So here you just have to paste this and hit install and Jupyter notebook will be installed on my windows. I've already installed mine so I didn't need to do that. So how do we launch this uh, Jupyter Lab? So all you need to do is just come down to this place. Say if you install Jupyter Notebook with Conda or Manga, we recommend using the Conda Forge canal. But once install, launch Jupyter Lab with this. But we didn't install Jupyter using Conda or any of these uh, uh, recommended um, instruction here. So we install Jupyter using we install Jupyter Lab using the window command prompt. So all we need to do is just uh, copy this line of code here and run it. On our Windows command prompt, somebody like here, and let's say Jupyter Lab. And once you just hit that, just hold on for some second, and it will automatically load the Jupyter Lab on your uh, browser. So before that is done, I'm going to explain to you guys a few difference between the uh, Jupyter Lab and the Jupyter Notebook. And what is the first number, number one difference? The number one difference is the Jupyter Lab opens in a single browser. It opens in a single browser. That is a single tab. Um, let us call it like, let us uh, say it's like an ID. It's, it's an ID containing the, the, the notebook, the notebook notebooks. I'll explain to you what I mean by this uh, in a short while. Then the Jupyter, the classic Jupyter notebook itself, this one opens files in new tabs for instance if i come here and launch a, a jupyter notebook let's come here and launch jupyter notebook let's move on you can wait for it to, to load you will see that the jupyter notebook is a it opens uh tabs in tabs it opens files in different kind of tabs while the jupyter notebook here it opens all the whole sub files within one particular tab for instance here now I can open my it loads it had the same way of loading folders just the way the Jupyter notebook here loads folders you can see this is the interface of the classic Jupyter notebook and this is the interface of the Jupyter lab for instance I can open so many sub files with this particular Jupyter just one tab here while if I want to open any folder here for let me come to this um, document and let's open one particular folder here Let's go to data science. Data science. Uh, let's say I want to open intro to Jupyter notebook. Here you can see I have a particular file here. Let me add another file. The Python 3 kernel. You can see it loaded this particular file in a new tab. That's that is one specific difference between the Jupyter lab and the Jupyter, the classic Jupyter notebook. It loads its files in new tabs. Why in the Jupyter lab all the sub files are being loaded within a particular tab. Let me show you. For instance, I want to open a, a notebook within, within a particular uh, uh, a tab here. All you do is just click on this and you see that a new notebook will be added. Placing it is down here. I can see add and there are so many kind of sub uh, sub files within a particular uh, tab here. For instance, I want to open a Python file. You can see have another Python file here. This Jupyter Lab, just like I said uh, earlier, is, is just like an ID of notebook, like just an ID in notebook notebooks. I see it. I can open another one here. Let me come here. Let me open another text file. I see it. I can have so many kind of uh, files open just within one folder. And this Normally, if you are starting up as a beginner, or the money to start with the classic Jupyter notebook, 
before you advance to the chip teller because this one is very easy to format and all that and very easy to run your code but the chip teller app is a little bit tricky i'll create a video on how to run some files on the jupyter lab front end let us just do one little thing here let me assume i want to read uh one csv file here and let us look for one csv file that i want to run here uh if we look at this let's go to our document you can see we have a lot of csv file here so let's just let's create an a, a let's create actually create a canal in this particular file so that we can easily access it so let's close this one let's discard it let's create a canal here so that we can easily access the particular cell file here so i can just do a uh, import pandas as ed just the same way you run the other one you can you can run this one too if i move my alt and enter it will also load and then you learn for me and if I just read it I can say pd dot read underscore csv in the here let's read the same the file which is uh deliveries make sure we get this spelling correctly delivery dot csv Let's hit uh, enter key, and you can see that our files have been loaded. So this is how you use the the, the Jupyter Lab, as well as uh, the Python file and the TXV file. You can open a lot of uh, so many uh, kind of sub tabs within this particular Jupyter Lab, here. just like an IDE in notebook notebooks. But the Jupyter notebooks here. Uh, the classic digital notebook. Once you create a new file, once you create a new file, from that let's create a readme file. Let's create a readme file. Once you create a file, it opens. It opens. Let's rename it. Readme. Dot md. Once you create a new file, it opens in another new tab. I see it. It opens in another new tab. And look at all these tabs here. Once you Try to open it, access it, it will open a new tab. So, this is just some basic kind of difference. If you are starting as a beginner, I will advise you to start uh, with a Jupyter, with a classic Jupyter notebook before uh, advancing to the Jupyter lab. So, if you don't know how to use a Jupyter notebook as a beginner, I will advise you to watch my introductory videos to uh, Jupyter notebook. I'm going to create another video. On how to use the Jupyter Lab uh, in a uh, very soon. So that is all for this uh, particular video. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, stay blessed.